So what I wanted to do in the remainder of episode one of The Daily Bread is show you the making of The Daily Bread. So welcome to the bakery. <laughs> <laughs> so put on your oven mitts, because it's coming in hot. <laughs> this episode's about to be toast. <clears throat> Good job. Yeah. Good press with your body. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward. Right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. So how did we get here? Three and a half years ago, I was broke. I was in debt. I was out of shape. I was depressed, lonely. Let's could go on. Some mentors came into my life and started pouring confidence into me, pouring affirmations, thought, there was more in me than I saw in myself at that time. And it was during that time that I started waging war on personal change. And so what happened? Well, over the next three years, I went from being unemployed, like I said, broke, in debt, depressed, all these things. The very next 12 months made a little over $300,000 in income. The next 12 months, 450. Next 12 months, 650. And what I knew was I was a completely different person than I was back then. And what I knew also is that there were hundreds, thousands, millions of people out there that were in that exact same place. And what those guys did for me when they stepped in and changed the rest of the course, the course of the rest of my entire life, I could do for others and what better place to do it than here on social media. So 21 months ago, I sat down with Gary Vaynerchuk and Andy Frisella. Now at this time, I had not started documenting anything. I did not have a uh, Facebook page. I did not have an Instagram profile. I did not have, for our company, we did not have a Facebook, Instagram, anything. Zero presence whatsoever on social media. And what I discovered in that meeting with Andy and Gary was that what I was looking for was permission. What I had seen was all of the fake, filtered noise on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, where people were portraying to be something that they're not. And it was everywhere, it was rampant. And I felt like I had a story to tell and it was a real story to tell but because of the noise that was out there telling the story that was greater, I felt like it was insignificant. And what those guys really pounded into me was your story needs to be heard. And they said, are you going to spend 200 plus nights on the road again next year? I said, yes, sir, I am. You need to document it because people need to see it and it'll resonate with people, it'll provide value, and it'll make an impact. And so what has happened over the last 12 months? So posting every single day, multiple times. Um, Facebook Live, sometimes multiple times per day, but almost every single day. I actually counted up yesterday, and as of right this second, I've done 497 Facebook Lives since January 11th. It's a lot of Facebook Lives. Some of them are still terrible, but the content is surrounded or surrounds the same premise and the same idea I had from the very beginning, which was just tell my story, be authentic, be real, and try to provide value for people and make an impact. So from day one, I made a pact. I said, I'm not gonna sell anything on social media for five years. 
We're a year in, and what was true then is true now. I would be lying if I told you there weren't times where I've thought about it. I've thought about it often, because I'm asked often, when are you gonna monetize? Like, how are you gonna monetize? Hey, what are you gonna sell? Hey, are you, what funnel are you, are you putting these people into? What product are you gonna come out with? When's your ebook, or this program, or mastermind, or hey, would you do some coaching with me? I've thought about it a million times. But here's what I know. By providing value, just the act of being willing to provide value without any expectation of anything in return, it makes that relationship that more impactful because it's not a transactional relationship. I'm not taking money from you in order to give you advice. I'm saying, hey, I have my career. I have the money that I make. I don't want your money. I don't need your money, but I still want to provide that advice. I still want to provide that uh, opinion on whatever it is that you're doing. And I want to be able to make an impact and provide value. And, and I think because of doing it that way, that I can tell you the truth because I'm not concerned about your return on your investment because it's not any investment on your part. My only concern is leaving a positive impact and making this earth a better place while I'm on it for a finite period of time. End of story. Now, I wanna take a second to talk about probably one of the biggest um, obstacles up front, but one of the biggest keys to my success in doing this has been my wife. The very first day that I posted the very first post on my Facebook page, my wife was mortified, like mortified just called me, why, what, what are you doing? Why did you post that? And it had said something about like the income that I was making at that time. And I explained to her, I was like, babe, I'm just gonna need you to trust me for like six months, just trust me. And I told her also that you may wanna unfollow me or, or like unlike me on, on Facebook and, and Instagram because it's gonna get uncomfortable. But as I started getting these messages coming in about people saying that legitimately, like life-changing stuff, like, hey, you said this, I implemented this, and this happened, and I'm so incredibly grateful, I started taking screenshots and I would send them to her. Screenshots and I would text them to her. Screenshots and that night I would show them to her. And she started to understand. And what I can tell you is, no matter if one person in the household is working or both are working, they've both got incredible careers, Behind every successful husband or wife is a spouse that sacrifices, no matter what. Whether that other spouse has an incredible career and they're out hustling as well, there is a sacrifice involved. And I'm extremely grateful that I have a wife that is independent enough to allow me the ability to go out and do this type of stuff. Um, I would not be able to do that uh, without her. There's been a month this year where the reach of the social media that I was putting out was over 49 million people in a seven day period. Over 49 million people. 12 months ago, it was zero. The intention then has created the attention now. And now that I do have just a little bit of attention, I wanna take it further. I want to take it to a whole nother level to be able to really make an impact in your lives. Here is what I want everyone to know. Whether you're currently in a storm, headed towards one, or coming out of one, we all have struggles. And over the next few months, you're going to see some of mine because I'm going to talk about some of them. And it's not easy to do. Um, I've debated on whether or not doing it. <laughs> but I think it's important. The person that I am today is because of the struggles that I've gone through. And the problem is, is we always learn that in hindsight. What I wanna show you is that when you're in the struggle, because I know some of you that are hearing my voice right now, you're in it. Like, you're like, that's me. Like, I'm, I don't know which way is up right now. But to be able to know when you're in it, that in order for you to receive the blessing on the other side of it, you have to become the person that can. And you can know that there is a reason for your struggle. There is a purpose in your pain. And that if you know that 
I'm going through this to become, to grow into the person that can handle what's next, that can become the person that's able to receive that blessing that's on the, on the other side of it, then that is the ultimate encouragement. It gives you the chance to just breathe a fresh, a fresh breath air. <laughs> breathe a breath of fresh air and know that this too shall pass. And I am living proof that on the other side, you'll understand the reason for what you went through. Because I am the husband that I am today, I'm the father I am today, I'm the man I am today because of the struggles that I went through in the past. There's not a lot of people out there doing a daily vlog. And I'll tell you, just in the first couple of days of getting this thing set up, it's because it's incredibly difficult. <laughs> Capturing content in and out of every single day and being able to turn that around in 24 hours to get it out on all the social media platforms. Having someone follow me 24 seven that's now traveling with me because you guys know I'm on the road over 200 nights a year. Traveling and capturing every little nuance of my day. And then condensing all of that to 12, 14, 16, sometimes 18 hours of content into a seven to 15 minute video that will provide the most amount of impact as possible. It's called the daily bread because bread represents the necessities of life. And you know that, that old scripture, give us this day our daily bread. Well, when God said that, he didn't promise to provide the bread and you would just sit on the couch and wait for it to get there. The intention was for you to go out and work, do your part, and go out and earn it. And so this vlog is going to do what I've been doing all year, but on a whole nother level. Being able to provide you a deep inside look at what it really takes to be successful. What it really looks like to go from being unemployed to over $650,000 in annual income in a three and a half year window. And I can tell you that the moral of the story is just disgusting work ethic. Bread. Bread.